Hello guys and um, welcome to uh, a, a frosty Sunday morning. Um, just been doing some experiments and you'll see the result of this in a minute. Um, a few weeks back you, re you recollect that I tried to make one of these and it didn't go together too well. It's a, it's, it's a good it was a good lesson that not everything always goes right. Well, I've got three here that I made a long time back. I don't use them very often. Two are in the Trangia style. And the fact that they've got a chamber there, you can see the mess. One's got the holes at the top, and the other's got the holes at the sides for when they bloom. Um, very efficient, and I've got a smaller one here. And the smaller one with this little priming pan I made a good while back. I think that was the second one I ever made. First one I gave to my nephew. And a little priming pan it sits in. With luck it all fits in there quite nicely. As thus. Um, good little stoves. If you're going to, I'm a firm believer. Uh, if you're going to make a, a stove like this, don't go out and buy an aluminium bottle. Scavenge. That's the whole idea of this, this type of cooker, is, is a scavenge cooker. Um, fits very well, folds up. Without the priming pan it folds up in there quite nicely. I might need to make another small priming pan just so that the whole setup fits in there, fits into this quite well. So there you have it. Right, priming pan sits in there, and obviously the kettle or cooking pot fits on the top. The burn time with this particular penny cooker, the reason obviously if you've made these before, you just drop the penny on the top there. Um, is about six to seven minutes. So I did a very rough timing on it and. It come out at about 5 minutes 30 seconds, but I'd actually had it fired up about a minute beforehand. So I, should, I would say 6 to 7 minutes burn time with this, which is enough, incidentally, to make you a cup of tea. Mincy at that, which is very nice. Um, I've seen many people use these. A big disadvantage is that you can't do that. Screw the top back on. So basically it can be very wasteful on fuel unless you're very canny at measuring it out so you have just enough fuel to make your brew or to cook your meal. Um, works very well. I'm not going to do a demonstration on making these again. I've gone through that stage of making little burners and if I need one, well I've got three here. I've made a few and I've given them away. I've got the idea of making another one using actually the top of the can itself because it's quite solid and rigid. But there you go. Uh, following this you will see the water coming up to the boil which took about three and a half minutes. Not in ideal conditions, working indoors is not ideal. Ideally you should try this out there, out in the nature. But anyway. That is what I was trying to achieve the other week, a complete little cooking system. What I'm hoping to do is actually use the Esbit stove as a little wood burner as well and see how that comes out. I saw Sep Ballhand work, he used one and works quite well. I must admit this is a very much a nostalgia thing for me because I used these when I was in the army. And they're actually quite a good little quite a good little burner, folds up quite well. Um, if I'm a gadget freak, it's cooking gadgets, that's my downfall. Anyway, coming up are the two sequences and I'll see you all down the line.
got a total burn time I would say is about six minutes not bad going really well, there we go um, make it up a little charcoal for my uh, tinder steel kit <laughs> 